Morgan Murphy's here, and God damn it, I'm, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Um, and we we did one show together years ago, The Ice House. It was so fucking long ago, before the pandemic, and then pandemic hit, and then I just saw you at the store recently, and I was, I was very happy. At the store, not at like the in store. The, not like in a store. No, at the comedy store, you were <laughs> doing a set, store. and it was very nice to see you, because I hadn't seen you nice in a long time. You. Yes. Now here we are. We, I feel like I've become a, a like, like, Admittedly, like I, I, for, I like don't know who anybody is anymore. Because I do online, like I, that's what I like. The so, the social, the social media. Is yeah. that what kids call this, it? Yes, that's what us children are. Called. And I, children, I've like become, age. you know, more of a fan, or even a fan of the first time, a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of people, and you, and you, you being one of them. Well, isn't that nice? Turns out that when you post. 3,000 clips uh, every minute of the day that it does pay off. Yeah. I'm losing my mind, but here we are. Yeah. Um, I need to tell you. Content, baby. Uh, speaking of content, I'm very embarrassed. Yeah. So I've been going to this coffee place. Yeah. The Palm in Burbank for, I will never go again, but I, I've been going. <laughs> this has been my go-to coffee place. The guy, okay. I, I need to post a video. I have a show coming up. This is going to come up after the show because I'm an idiot, but I've been trying to promote this L.A. show, and I'm like, I got to do a video about L.A., so I was doing a joke video about me um, constantly being on the phone of my mm -hmm. manager. So that's, that's, the, that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. it's, it's stupid. You don't have to be original on social media. It turns out the dumber the videos are, the better they do. Yeah. That's what I've learned. You're like, hey, I'm like, I'm like edgy, on, I'm like entourage, but like punk rock. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. then you, you literally can just have one simple, like, I had yeah. a video kind of go viral by, by saying like, hey, Vancouver, look at the mountains. And I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, we like mountains. You're like, it's so stupid. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I, I know all the engagement. Yeah. You have a, a weird novel thing happen in it. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, people don't wear hats that way. Well, let's yeah. watch it again. Yeah, that's, ex yeah, yeah. that's exactly it. Hey, your hat's on sideways. So I go to this coffee place, and the guy behind the counter is being very personal. But there's usually yeah. a woman there that knows me, and I was going to ask her to, but she wasn't there. So he's being very jokey jokey to me. He's like, hey, look who it is. I'm like, oh, yo, yo. Like, really over the top barista. I'm like, okay, I can ask him. So I'm like, hey, I'm like, this is super awkward to even ask. I'm like, but do you mind um, helping me out with a video? It'll take. 10 seconds, all you have to do is film it from your perspective, uh -huh. where you go, oh, your coffee's ready, and I just go, oh, sorry, I'm on the phone with my manager. Yeah. And he goes, no, no, I, I'm gonna say no, I, I really don't wanna do that. And I was like, oh, um, I've never been more embarrassed in my entire, I went completely red, and I was like, Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I like normally I tip a lot. I only tipped a dollar. I should have tipped a more. I, you should. Well, first of all, you should have tipped first. I should tip first. You're right. You I should tip first. first. I was in the middle of paying. Yeah, and you 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 take out a twenty. I should. And you done say, this. Uh, sir, I have a I have a as you're unfolding <laughs> yes, it, I yes, have a question yes, yes. for you. I am on his side. I I you know what I, I like you. But I get I think, it. Yes. Uh, this this fil filming everywhere we've gone we've gone. Uh, it's gone too far. Yeah. I get that. But the only thing I want to say but in I my do, defense but you asked. is it was nice. I asked. Yes. And in my That's defense, it. he wasn't going to be on camera. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked. If it was yeah. him in it, I would have been like, "That's like, why would anyone do that?" Yeah. But and also, if he was like kind of shy, just like taking my order normally, but because he was so animated and right. like over the top, I was like, "Oh, this guy's it's a funny guy." Yeah. I made a huge mistake. No, nah, you know what? You you got to try. It's better than what you see a lot of people do, which is just like Film make strangers, strangers yeah, the no, no, star no. of their mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, of their reels, which is it does work. But now I'm like now I'm embarrassed. Now I can't I know go back. It works. Everything awful works. Oh, God, what are we doing? No, you're not awful. But I just mean that. It's, it's just, I it's know like what you mean. Every way to make people know what you do is like the antithesis of what you do. Like yeah. I do this thing that's like honest, and how do you get people to, to pay attention to it? I just like tiny lies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby lies. You know? Well, now I fucked up. So now I'm embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I can't go back. So thanks, Palm, for mortifying me. It, and I've never asked anyone ever before to do a video. Do you want me to do one? Like after this, I'll, do you want me to? You Hold your to. camera. <laughs> I already made Aaron do one earlier. We okay. are, I've already done it. I, I'm like, okay. I just thought it would be good at a coffee shop because it's so rude to order a coffee yeah. and tell them to wait. No, I'm with you. Turns out I'm rude for asking. Yeah. The whole thing's rude. I do want to also mention, I do have a Band-Aid on my finger. Um, I did punch my wall yesterday. Mm. <laughs> oh. That's I, like that's like that's, anger from cinema. Is it, that is a film. That's film level anger. Isn't it also very childlike anger? Yeah. Did you ever punch a wall growing up? Um, no. That's it. Reads like it reads like my wife left me anger. Yeah, it reads like, like but I know it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aaron, you said you punched a wall before, right? Oh yeah. Like <laughs> when, when you were younger. Uh, recently. Recently. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. 
maybe it's okay. <laughs> He's a child and a wife. Okay. I got, this was also unnecessary. I was very stressed out. I had to get a self tape in and I just, I don't know if you're like the self tapes. If I do it more than once, if I, I'm not like two or three times, mm -hmm. I get really flustered with myself. There's no one's fault but my own. And I'm like, I can't do this. I'm not funny. And then I got so mad. And my boyfriend was taping it for me. And then I just went, Ugh! and then just punch. And it's, it's LA. The mm -hmm. wall was cement. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, maybe, I'm like, I didn't punch it that hard. Maybe it's fine. And then we started doing this, the self tape, and I'm like really gesturing with my hands on point. I looked down, and it's just trickling blood. And I was like, well, now this is fucking crazy. And he was like, you're bleeding. And I'm like, I'm bleeding. He's like, you punched the wall, and now you're bleeding. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, now I look really nuts. That's nuts. I'm 37. I'm turning 38. I mean, this all I've bizarre. heard in this podcast so far is like, you got, you, you, you when, when you, when you're, when you're up against, I need myself filmed. Things go poorly. <laughs> I think you're onto something. Yeah, I think you. I think yeah. you fully figured me out in the first yeah. five minutes. Okay, we're not gonna talk about me anymore because I'm over it. But I just needed to point out why the band aid's there and why it really split the knuckle open. It is. It has not. It's bloods all over my bed right now. Ooh, I have my therapist is gonna get an earful this week. Yeah, she's gonna get a big mitful. Poor therapist. Poor therapist. I mean, Judy. right. Poor Oof. therapists are really. Therapists are getting it. They're, they're, they're taking it. They're it. taking it hard right now. They really are. Yeah. I think people have just gone crazier and crazier. Oh yeah. So that's it now. Yeah. My psychiatrist quit. Really? I mean, she's older, but she was like, "This is it. This end of an empire." Like she didn't mean her. She meant literally the empire is crumbling. She was like, she's seen it all. Oh the shit. Older, o older woman, always very like. She worked for me. She was like very blunt. Like I'd okay. go in and I'd be like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind," and I'm gonna cancel the trip. And she's like, "When's the trip?" And I'd be like, uh, it's in 10 days. She goes, you'll be fine. <laughs> and it turns out that is that is what I needed to hear. Her was to say just that like a, that? Yeah. What but was her background? I never asked. And I want to, I, 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 I insensitively, Eastern European, yes. um, perhaps Russian, old, old Jewish woman. Uh, and uh, we, you know, probably what my great grandparents sounded like but i didn't yeah, know yeah, them yeah. and she was just very blunt but she she was out panda she was like this is this is not this is crazy <laughs> she goes everyone she was like everyone's going fucking insane like she would say that and then you're like yes yeah. this is i feel like i've gone definitely and i think social media mm -hmm. is the main reason i've gone mm -hmm. completely i have friends mm -hmm. who are just off the off the rock yeah because right social media like constantly looking at the likes and the whatever the fuck validation yeah. it's 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 sick i just don't i don't do it and or I do it like I'm on Twitter but I'm just like hey guys the, the, the article's lying to you or whatever and then it's like eight like and I, I just I feel the need to like tell the truth but I couldn't I, I don't even judge people for doing it I get that you have to to like sell tickets and stuff mm -hmm. I do feel like I don't know it was a fairly long career in some way and writing has just been like my way of not having to do all the things you have to do to sell yourself, which is just like, I, I barely could do. And then when the uptick of like, here's how you engage. And, mm -hmm. and I remember like 10 years ago, seeing people like ask questions in their captions. Like, you know, I was like, oh, here I went, I went here for, for lunch. Where do you go for lunch? And realizing like, oh, that's just like a thing that someone said, do that. Yeah. And then people will think that you have this relationship with them and they'll like you more and it all works. Mm -hmm. But it all is so, like, antithetical to being human. Mm -hmm. Like, direct-to-consumer marketing of you as a person is so strange. And then who it ends up rewarding the most are people who are just willing to to just reverse engineer what they say to you. Yeah. So it's just like, it re like, social media rewards sociopathic behavior. Yes. So the people who, like, are the most successful, not all of them... But many of them are just Majority. like, I'm going to give you what you need, which is like, I guess, sort of okay with a product. But once it's like a person lying about who they actually yeah. are, then it's like, it's just been like a decade of like a grifter gold mine. And it freaks me out so much. I can have this conversation with you because we're just like talking, but it freaks me out, like, not just who it rewards, but what it requires people to do who probably wouldn't want to do it otherwise. Yeah. It's just very messy. And then I end up like if I'm talking, doing a video, I don't feel like a person. No. I don't know. It's weird. I, I have to like feel like a person. Yes. <laughs> I, think, I have to feel like yes. I'm in reality. And I think it's hard. I think some people can compartmentalize really well. Even younger people are like, no, that's where you get your money and this is where you live your life. Yeah. I think this mid-generation where it's like, oh, no, I just only knew how to be a 
me on here. Yeah, yeah. I can't change that, so I'm just not going to like. But I think there is a way for you to do yourself like this on here. Yeah. Like this exact way. Like I yeah. try to keep mine as me. Yeah. Like when I do a front facing video, yes. I'm like swearing. I'm not trying to be something different. Yes. I usually look like shit. Like I'm not yeah. like, you know what I mean? I'm not like putting on some whole fucking filter or yeah. doing some like, da have you ever seen someone record like a dance in public? It's yeah, I mean, it's I think, like, again, like, I get that it's some people, it, well, I think also, yeah, again, younger people, I think it just feels like a given. There's so much that I go, oh, that's crazy behavior, but that's just, like, normalized for them. Yeah. And then I think, like, there's people like you who are great at being themselves. What I feel bad for is, like, people who, I don't know, thrust themselves into, like, talking to people on the internet all the time, mm -hmm. whether it's, like, a podcast or stand-up who like hadn't found their voice yet. So they don't even know who they are. And it's obviously shaping who they are then in turn. And yep. I get too overthinky about all of that, that it, it it just always made me uncomfortable. Yeah, well it is uncomfortable. Yeah, It's also like all, all these like managers and agents forcing these like new influencers yeah. and shit to do all these things they've never done. Yeah. Like when you see like, it, like TikTok people doing stand up, it's like what the f fuck are we doing yeah. right now? What are you what are you doing? You've never done it. Like Yeah, but it's like that's the I mean it's it's funny cuz like I'm really I'm 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 fairly obsessed with like the whole with all of it with 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 content with like every kind of farming, click streaming, engagement, all of it. Like I find it all really interesting. I'm fascinated more in people who just use social media all the time and don't want to know how it works at every step. So they're just yeah. like yelling at stuff that's like designed to be yelled at and all that stuff like I'm just fascinated by it all. But I kind of like looking at it from like a mile back, just looking at the big picture. And then I feel like, oh, what's always kind of made me comfortable is like, I don't know, sit back and observe everything. And if I'm just looking like through my own lens of how do I sell me, then I feel like I'm not looking at the big picture. So yeah. like I'm really kind of like fixated on the big picture and how it all works. And then once you get every step down and it's so kind of like ugly and there's so much like math and metrics to like telling people here's why I'm funny, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then you're just, then it's like, ah, I, I don't know. I would have to A, do a lot more stand up and have somebody else like handle yes. every aspect of it. But you also went into this, I think already you already had a big following. Like I didn't have a, no one knew who the fuck I was. Oh, I don't sell tickets or anything. I don't like, I have no, I have, I'm like, like very uh, uh not uh don't have that follow big well, follow. i thought you did but i think I people mean, I think have you like do. a lot of twitter whatever i have like that's it but i i i I've, i'm comfortably small okay and i i it, i don't mean this with any like oh i don't want to be famous like i it, it seems very scary it all feels not real and mm. i'm like hypersensitive to feeling like i'm in reality and i feel like now everyone's Everyone's gone crazy because there's like a thousand subjective realities. So for mm -hmm. me, like I just need to, I don't know. It's like it's like odd stim odd stimulation from all this stuff. It makes me feel bad. Yeah, like all the weirdness a, yeah. and stuff. That it makes me feel bad doing it myself. So I just sit there and go like, you know, hey guys, that's clickbait. And you know, four likes later, I go have a sandwich <laughs> and write some jokes. Well, that seems more healthy than where I'm up till two in the morning, five, f editing three videos that I know I need to post at 9 a.m. And then if it's not up at 9 a.m., I'm like, stressing I, myself but out. But that's just... your job. Like, again, like, I feel like I almost have this weird, I love writing. Like, I do. And, it, and I love it as a job. But I also feel like it's almost like having, like, you know, a parent who pays your rent. It's like a safety net yeah. to not have to kind of die. I, I wish I did more stand up and I wish I was like out on the road, but like, I don't love all that stuff. So like, I think if you're a comic and you're, I mean, you're a fucking comic, like, can I curse? Oh yeah, oh. yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I believe you <laughs> Like you're like a comic, like that, I get it for people. So I don't, when I, uh, I think I always, I'm a little protective of going like, it's not for me, but mm. I understand why it's necessary. And to me, it's like a little bit of a shame that who it rewards most are not like the people who are necessarily great at doing the thing, but they're great at selling, yes. at marketing. Yes. And then occasionally there's people who are like great at marketing and great at doing the thing. It's a tough line. It's, well, well can we get into why you haven't been doing that much stand up? Yeah. Because you, you've gone through a lot. Yeah. I you mean, I, <laughs> I, I wasn't, I, I never did like 
I was never like the road dog that I don't know. know why I had the idea that in my head that you were. I mean, I did a lot, I guess a lot, but not I, when I compare myself to people who are going up five times a night and stuff. Yes. I, I feel like I'm, I want to be like, I know I'm not that. Like, I feel, you know, you're, you you want to like be like, I know I'm not that, you know, that, 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 uh, you know, that much of a, of a, purist or whatever but like when I, I but you i will say you're definitely a comics comic like i because when, when i moved to la not just comics comic, but i mean like yeah. a lot of comics respect you because oh, your name would get slept, tossed slept with me. no a lot of comics have sucked your ass yeah. no a lot of comics <laughs> have sucked you off they you were very highly like you were always on like the good festivals i wanted to do and yeah. like the like that's how i saw you as that like i was like oh i want oh yeah, so yes it was very nice so then yeah but, i did yeah, i've done like a lot of uh like fun cool stuff and definitely um definitely feel like yeah i'm self-conscious about about like oh i'm a comedian because i i do don't feel like i do it enough but i yeah i did that special did it for years and then yeah, yeah a few years ago like 2019 I had a, uh, uh, I was kind of going to get ready to like shoot another hour, one, one, one every 10 years, that works, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> excuse me, and I, uh, and then I got, I, had, I got sick, and it, like it was like six months before the pandemic, I got sick with like my own thing, and uh, re retired, like fully retired, had to retire, I had like a very, rare neurological condition so let's get into all this yeah so how did you first start feeling like when did you like since it's rare like what what was yeah. the what were the signs like all of a sudden you were like something's up um well one symptom is you know ram ramble incoherently about the you know uh, architecture of social media yeah uh no. <laughs> oh god it's back it's back <laughs> oh no oh no uh you know buzz kill at parties um <laughs> Oh, Morgan's uh, back. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Brain oh, problem. brain, brain yeah. problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was, um, you know, I was doing stand up and I was writing on Modern Modern Family at the time, which oh, was fuck. last, last season of Modern Family. And I, I, I mean, I don't know. How do you guys say, like, I started, I started, uh, how it started was I thought, like, oh, I have strep throat or something. It was like a sharp, sharp pain in my throat. And then it was like, an, you know, and the, but it just didn't, it wasn't going away. It was getting worse and worse. It was While happening. you were like this writing, you're still working. This was like, like, yeah, this was like daily. And I was in the ENT for, for months and not even like the insurance ENT. Like it started getting so bad that I just kept going to the like very expensive out of pocket, like fancy ENT. Cause I was like, oh, this is like, this is Shit. new. Yeah. Like you don't want a new pain. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm like third. I was 38 and I was like, oh, I don't know what this is. Yeah. It's horrific and uh, it's not good. So I'm in the doctor for like, <clears throat> it was this like crazy thing where I'm there for months. I'm doing, they're doing the endoscopy, like every so single. Down the throat. Down the oh, throat of the nostril. I kept saying something's really, really going on. Like, like, you know jump off a building level pain like my Fuck. throat the back of my mouth like my palate all this stuff and they kept like looking and giving medicine and kept going like it's normal in there and it was like then you start to feel like oh i'm i'm, I'm crazy i'm crazy yeah, this wrong. is I, I was like no this is or i'm like have a such a low pain tolerance that i didn't yeah, realize yeah, yeah. like this yeah, is yeah. Just, were you taking like it was anything helping the pain like Advil or no? I was nothing. drinking. I was just drinking to get to to get to bed, and then uh, and then like two months into like exhausting everything, uh, my ENT doctor Doctor Sugarman, the one I, I I I went to out of like again this is like someone I'd go to once a year because it is it costs a bit of money yeah for like an emergency and I was there like you know every other day crying after it was like horrific and. Uh, and then he was like, you know what? I want to just make sh rule something out. And he sent me to a neurologist uh, to rule out what's like a, a, a nerve. It basically it's glossopharyngeal neuralgia, which is a, a rare thing. And he sent me to her to rule it out, and she diagnosed me in like a minute. And oh shit! So I it basically, and then they rushed me into like a brain MRI because it usually uh, is caused by like they were looking for. A tumor, MS, something yeah, yeah, damaging yeah. the nerve. Fuck, didn't this find is it. Yeah, terrifying. It was, it, was, it was like it was one of those things where you just you go from being like scared and then like dr drunk, scared and like yeah. and, and then th there were periods where like I couldn't, I'd get like a flare of it and I couldn't speak, and like it, it, and I'm going to work 
and I, I'm just in this kind of place where I don't know how to tell people like how scared I am. Yeah, and how serious this yeah. might be. Yeah, and you... in in like to put it in perspective, like this doctor is is in he's in Beverly Hills and he's seen like generations of of uh, families and he I am his only case he's ever seen in forty years. Oh wow. Uh, so and then so I met a neurologist and then they couldn't figure out why it was happening, so I just like very very long story short like couldn't I couldn't guarantee I'd be able to talk for more than for a set amount of time for a stand-up set like oh the last time I was at comedy store I was at the comedy store was talking to somebody my felt like my tongue like seized up and and like a I just feel like a sword through your throat oh my god I got an uber went home and hadn't didn't go back till last year Holy shit. Yeah, it was like it was it was like the most like and then 9 months of total existential uh uh kind of like horror into acceptance. God. And I... uh yeah, and then ultimately longest most complicated story short other doctors got involved. Neurosurgeon New York like got involved, sent me to a guy in in San Diego and that guy did my fourth MRI and finally found where, and keep in mind this whole time I had accepted like, oh, this is my story. We're gonna get out of the, the yeah. pandemic hit. We're gonna get out of the God. pandemic and people are gonna go what happened to Morgan. And that's my story. I'm, yeah. I'm done. And uh, and I lied to people like about how bad it was because you don't want to say like I think my life my yeah, life's like, over. Did you tell this to your family? Like what were you telling? Like, I told my family. Friends? I told okay, like five yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And then um, were they were the doctors <laughs> telling you this? Were they like, because you know sometimes you they were that bad. the bad yeah the bad news was all these great doctors were like we we maybe an infection caused this we can't find Fuck. the cause we can't we're looking at they look at like you know your brain stem so again like what was happening was it wasn't my throat or my tongue or my inner ear it was the nerves that go to those areas were being compressed in my brain stem. So that's why I thought like, oh, there's a there's a knife in yeah, my throat, yeah, and they yeah, were like, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> and you're like, ah, yeah, yeah. I can feel something. So yeah, it's totally crazy. A bunch of other bizarre uh, symptoms, and then yeah, this this doctor in San Diego, uh, UC San Diego, the chair of neurosurgery down there, did my fourth MRI and found the cause and said we think we can like open your head and give you a lot of relief. Open your head. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. So I had so in, during the pandemic I. So, went, so not only is there a virus, you're now getting yeah. your skull opened up. Yes, walking in alone to UC San Diego, uh, a neurosurgical no unit. You, well, COVID. my friend, I had a friend, God bless my friends, my friend um, Chris, my friend Karen, we went to a resort down there for two days before. Okay. I just was like... I was like, I, screw I, it, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah I need and you something. Like, yeah, and my friend's doing like a healing ceremony, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. she's yeah, like giving yeah, me yeah, a rock, yeah. and I was like, this is a bullshit rock. And then meanwhile, I'm in the hospital holding the rock, yeah, like, like, oh, maybe it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so yeah, so then I I had this this brain surgery, and at that time I told people like, don't vi I don't want you to get COVID visiting With, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I woke up, and my cousin, of course, my Republican cousin. Who we everyone been fighting for four years is yeah. next to my bed. Uh, no mask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. She's I'm, I'm like under anesthesia. She's trying to get me to like re-register yeah. parties. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's but, just signing your hand for you. Yeah, it was it was kind of amazing who kind of um, forced themselves into showing up even when I thought like mm -hmm. I don't I don't want you to do that. But yeah, it was it was it was a it was a full on. Uh, so where did they? What exact like the whole like how did they open this up? Uh, they so I have um, I have it's kind of cool that my hair's going out, but like I have a plate here. Oh shit! Base my hair, and then it's like That's a cool. it's like a long um, like a like almost like an S there, and they opened it up, and then they realized that three of my nerves have been compressed. So it, then it, then that in kind of it 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 uh, it, it sort of uh, after the fact answered some other medical things that okay. had been going like it was a weird thing i was God. born with a genetic abnormality okay so, yeah. you, so you had been feeling stuff earlier on before I, this and just couldn't pinpoint i it? thought that i had like sensation i don't have any sensation like in my throat anything it's all it's like just like you know you have like a gulp when you swallow i yeah, don't have yeah. any of that and i woke up I, I lost my hearing and surgery but like 
Did they warn you that, that was something that could happen? It was the smallest, smallest risk. It was like a 2% risk, but also oh, it sake. was also oh, the God. highest odds of anything that had happened to me up until that point. Like, you know, it was higher odds of me having what I had. Uh, and yeah, just the most, like, it, this is insane. It, it's 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 never not strange that I'm talking about myself. Yeah, like it it, it is it is because I there were, it's not even that something bad happened and they fixed it. It was like the almost year of accepting like what is life when nothing you ever thought was going to be in it is going to be in it. Yeah, and that was the pain so bad that you're <laughs> like I can't. The pain. What what did was a kind of a miracle is I did these in, these 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 pain these non opioid pain treatments like that was like by the grace of me having money saved which I went through, um, I went to this like experimental out of pocket neurologist who did these like massive infusions of like ketamine and uh, and so I go three days at a time and that lowered the pain substantially okay. at least to like be able to. Function. Not want to just die yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought the rest of my life was just every month I go to this lady, give her all my money until I have no money, Fuck. and then that's what you do. And yeah, because they don't, that's... insurance is like, it, that's the crazy thing when you realize that there are options to treat a kind of pain you didn't know existed that are not opioids, but you better have a lot of money or like, the doctor I'm at now, they do it, but you're, the wait list is a year oh, under wow. insurance. So like, it's you learn, mm. I didn't know anything about, about no. medical care. I didn't know anything about, oh, this is where rich people go. And I went there because I was so desperate yeah. and, and had like, for whatever reason, luck in life where I'd save money and I just went through, I just was like, <sighs> yeah, God. it's like, you, you kind of, when you go through your money, you go like, oh no, I go, went through my money, but then you go, oh, there's a lot of people who have no money to yeah. go through. Um, so yeah, it was like, it was, it was something. This is, okay, so you, how fucking freaked were you about going into the surgery? Like that seems like a- Not freaked at all, no, really. you were just like, I want this fucking pain I was like, end. well, whatever, yeah, because yeah. I was also like, I remember at a time like in 2017, 18, I had written this like pilot for for Burt Kreischer, who, who who I was like I was just like oh I think Burt Kreischer was like, the most likable person I just was like he's just so likable, so I wrote this pilot and I remember like pitching it during all this right after an, an infusion and just pretending like that everything's I'm normal. fine and yeah. everything's fine like I I lied so much like because I didn't know how to tell anybody, you know if I had a good day, I. Then that's when I talked to people and yeah, said yeah, I was yeah. fine. Except for I had a thank God I had a cousin who's a doctor, and so okay, he he okay. was good. But I was was uh, this also this is well, you were in L.A. when all this happened too. Like I was in L.A. and then the yeah the pandemic yeah. hit and uh, and so um, you know I but I had been I I felt like I had like a three month lead up to the pandemic where my life was pretty pretty done. I hadn't been going out at night or doing anything like that. And uh, so when the pandemic hit, it almost gave me like the uh, uh, freedom to disappear. And not feel. Everyone disappeared. And no one was going to check on. You know, yeah, Yeah. I didn't have to like answer a bunch of questions. Why did Morgan disappear? Yeah, yeah, Yeah. why are you not going out? Because no one's going out. Yeah. So how long did this take to heal? So right after it happens, Mm -hmm. do you wake up and you're like, a couple days later, you're like, the pain's gone. The 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 kind of pain that was like not a livable kind of pain, other than a few kind of zaps, uh, pretty much gone from when I got they they wow. moved the things they moved the what hap- what's happened was happening was something was compressing the nerves that shouldn't be they moved that aside they put insulation between that and the nerves so I have like insulation in my head and. I, you know, the before and after of the surgery was like, it, it was, but yeah, it's like a religious important. experience yeah. miracle. Um, and then you just recover from the surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Kyle Ayers? Yeah, why do, yeah, he. Uh, he has something very similar he to He has this. a trigeminal neuralgia. Yes, 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 we, yes, we, yes. We've messaged, yeah. Okay, I was gonna yeah, say, I, was gonna say, I messaged him, him yeah. and yeah, and I, and that's like the thing too, is like I, I had, I, I, when I went looking at people who had it and looking at their social media content, which is like, again, 
and I get this helps people to be like, here's my illness and I'm yeah. going to document it for you. It wasn't that that's like it that wasn't going to make me feel better to like document what was happening. No, 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 I don't no, no, like no. not having there's no there's no answer. There's no end of the road for me. So I just like needed to be um, kind of more uh, stoic and alone. Yeah. And um, also, or that's like, a defense mechanism. I, don't know. I feel like people with, with this kind of pain, though, you're not going to want to be like, "Hey, everybody, yeah. uh, day well, two I, of yeah, the pain." I mean, I, like, I it's... Taught, yeah, I, I, I would do like. I remember doing like an Eddie Pepitone podcast when I, when I thought, "Oh, these infusions, are the best it's going to get." And I was like, "Yeah, it's crazy," and I'm kind of sick or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I, I talked to him, and then I is there's a woman in. Um, in uh michigan who's really cool who has this but she's had like seven of my surgeries Shit. and you know i had one person that i would connect with who who had been going through it and understood and um i also had like a, a swallowing issue and, and i remember like jim gaffigan's wife had a tumor and she had a swallowing disorder and so there's all these things that you think are kind of the end of the world so you need to talk to somebody else yeah. about what it's like who, who gets it yeah, um, so, so I had people. individuals yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, but yeah. not like you know a, a online community because I would check in and I'd be like oh that's this is now making me more sad yeah because I know like, I <laughs> yeah. can't relate to anybody for fuck's it's sake like, yeah and like when watching people like document their pain like I get it and I get how it's therapeutic mm -hmm. it made me more sad yeah like I was like I, I don't want to watch the worst case scenario yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Jesus Christ you know wrote a lot of jokes yeah did you really Hi. you know what's funny is I look back at like Twitter because at the time I remember thinking how weird is it? I'm just like I'm tweeting there's a pandemic and my life's over and I was like oh, I was like whatever those that perfect storm I'm, I was kind of funny us. I was like I was kind of like yeah <laughs> I was like uh, you funny. know I was I was like oh this is yeah this is my really sweet spot <laughs> I didn't know I needed to get wildly ill and yeah for a life it's like when a comedian over. like finally has a family and you're like oh family comedy that's what yeah, they were yeah, supposed yeah. to do that was my yeah 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 because I know, I know Kyle was like, this. he's the only other person who's done mm -hmm. this podcast where mm -hmm. I was like, the amount of pain he was feeling. Mm -hmm. And like he said, the only thing that would, the only thing that would kind of make him feel better is if he lied his face down on the tiles on the floor. Mm -hmm. Did you have like anything? It was just like, no, the, I mean, the, trigeminal is like the face. So yeah. where I had mine, which is these like are all inside. cranial nerves. Mine yeah. was my throat, my palate, the base of my tongue. Could you eat? Uh, yeah, oddly, swallowing food was easier than swallowing nothing. Oh wow! Like swallowing beverage, but I couldn't have cold, cold hot. Um, it would just suddenly feel like someone took like a, like a, um, like a, a, a wrench on the base oh, of my tongue, fuck. and like yeah, it was it, it. It's like stuff where you go like you don't know it exists. No, it's, god damn yeah, it! Yeah, it's like fairy tale curse, kind of stuff. And then you you know I've read a lot of, you know, kind of uh, ancient texts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, like literature, not like text yeah. messages. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> going back, <laughs> going back oh, in the, yeah. the good old days. Yeah, uh, and just and like started working out like crazy. It oh, was just really? you know, yeah, they whatever. Recommend that? Were they like this my is cousin, help? who again is like his doctor, but he's also like an, he's like a military guy. He's like he was like you know you really should like acupuncture, stretching, mm -hmm. yoga. So I started stretching with a woman and doing all these things that I don't even know if they help, but they occupied me. Yeah. So I would go on my laptop every day and do a, a exercise class of some kind yeah, yeah, yeah. and realize like, oh, this is actually helpful now because I can distract myself by like, my whole body works except just the head. that, Fuck. yeah. I had um, HPV when I was 27. Oh. And one of the main things was like, the, most people keep it forever or whatever. And the one thing that I kept reading in all these articles was that if you worked out like a lot, you could like <laughs> get it come somehow out of your system. So I started mm -hmm. like training for, half marathons and shit and then <laughs> it worked I know but it's just funny like, <laughs> I, I don't want you like interviewed at the finish line and go what inspired you yeah. to... my, my pussy <laughs> warts it was, that's what it was I had a bunch of warts I didn't want them there anymore it is yeah. I, it's funny because I talk about this on stage a little bit but I was just saying like it, do, multiple doctors saying like yeah it's like it's over your life's over like everything's you know basically like that that is like my whole life people said hey, you should try yoga you should try yoga and it took like the end of any possible future for me to be like, I guess I'll stretch. I, yeah, I guess yeah, I'll yeah. get up and try a little. <laughs> and it was great. It really did. Um, it really did. Like it, it mentally, I think it, it carried me even even more than I I think I knew at the time. Yeah. Wow. Do you still are you still doing that? Still stretching and shit. I'm I'm 
lifting and like I'm I'm trying to you know once or twice a week, but I was like every day. Fuck. Uh, going a little bonkers, but I, I like to get back to it. It was. I hate that it works. It, it honestly got it's so annoying. It is the worst thing possible. Like that the thing I want to do the least mm-hmm. is so helpful when I do it all the time. I hate working out. It, it infuriates yeah. me. I joined a gym and I'm like absolutely irate mm-hmm. when I go. Yeah. I was, do you feel better when you're after? No, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that I went. I, I'm mad the whole time. I'm pissed. But I'm like, I uh, thank you, YouTube comments who've been saying I've gained weight. Fuck you. I know I have, but I'm like, because I have been working out. I've been so fucking busy. I don't have time to fucking... I'm gonna go for a hike today after this um, in the rain with my dog because she's got fat too. I found out my dog gained weight. The vet told me that she's hefty. <laughs> my dog's obese. I, I will, away. one of the, I mean, I almost, now part of me wishes I had filmed some stuff because what I would do is there was this app, ClassPass, that during the pandemic they moved to to streaming. So there were all these these uh, gyms and, and studios all around the country that, uh, that had classes available. So I knew that I couldn't, I wasn't a person who like tomorrow at noon, if I book a class, I'll do it. Yeah. But if I'm like motivated now, I'll do it. So every day I was just like, when I was motivated, I'd look and I would take the next class that started. Oh, that's good. And sometimes it would be like yoga from Santa Monica or whatever, but sometimes it would be like, you know, ballet from Kentucky or what it, I would oh. it would just be and it was people in their grandma's living rooms and stuff because people were in the pandemic yeah. they'd gone places so you're doing some weird boot camp with some guy like with his mom's like religious artifacts yeah. in the background <laughs> and I took a different I just took whatever was next because I could barely do any of it anyway for so long yeah so I was like doing ballet I was doing da- I took a strip class like excuse me because it was just my only rule was when they're moving I have to move yeah that yeah, was like because yeah, okay. I was like I'm not going to be able to do any of this stuff turn the camera off oh yeah yeah you know camera off and just sure. do something when they're doing something do it I I was so out of shape when I started that I would just walk around coffee table oh fuck like yeah. when I got tired. I just had to be moving. And then you said you lost. You said you lost a shit ton of weight, right? Lost a lot. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but I had gained a lot of weight. Like I had gained. A, 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 I, we all gain. If you, yeah. the people who got really fit at the beginning of COVID, I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. I drank like three bottles of red a night. Yeah. Like, I was disgusted. Yeah. I was I, sick. I gained weight. I was on forced medical sobriety, so like because I couldn't drink oh, on yeah. my neurological medication. So, uh, so yeah. So it was a weird. It was very strange. I, I remember like th- going like, oh, I can't drink on this like at all. And then the pandemic hit and I was like, wow. Oh, you, <laughs> no, you're you kidding. gotta be. <laughs> couldn't smoke pot. Couldn't no, drink. couldn't even smoke pot. No, cause I have like, ha- I only feel half my, ma- it's all, it's all, it makes me think about Oh, everything. Being oh, like no. broken. Okay, yeah, no, you know no, what no, I mean? No, don't do that. Don't, no, don't, no, 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 it's fine. It's like I can do it a little now and then, but I was yeah. like, I was a daily, I could do it. I was a very, you know. Yeah, yeah, then you in your head. So, what? how are you feeling now, like, head wise and nerve wise? It's all feeling like. Uh, yeah, good. it's good. It's like there's stuff to complain about, but it's not worth complaining about, okay. if that makes sense. It's like, not even near. I'm the deaf, point. I'm, or half deaf, I'm. Like that's weird. That's harder yeah, than I, I thought like, it was. Yeah, what be. is that like? And that and it was it immediate. Like, did they tell you, or did you wake up and you're like, oh fuck me? I woke up. They were upset. They were more upset than I was because I was so at the time just like, oh, the pain. I I I, I can swallow. I can yeah. speak. I can. Uh, so it took actually a little while for me to be more upset. Um, but it's it's fine. It's just it's hard. I can't like. I don't go to restaurants since I can't hear in crowds. Oh, I have hearing aids, but they, even those like- Do they help or? They help at like work. They yeah. help when it's like a table and people aren't all talking over each other. And then maybe I'll get an implant or something at some point. And I've talked about that, but I just, I had to have another yeah. surgery after my surgery for symptoms that- oh, God, had, uh, but, to you go know, back my, in? Yeah, cause I had, cause, it, cause, <sighs> cause I had all a bunch of stuff had been caused by the nerve damage. Um, so, uh, I had to have something done to my salivary gland and like, uh, I just don't want another, no, anything. I don't know. Like a little thing. They're so tiny. They're like, tiny. Yeah. I have end. them. They're cool. Um, like, yeah. Those old ones. Like when you're like grandpa used to have them, there was like this whole side of the head. Now it's just like a little. Yeah. Yeah. Little it's, it, the, the thing is like, I've, I there's just, you learn little way, like you need to lean into people or I just tell people, I go, hey, I, I can't hear in that ear. You're going to have to stand over here. And then if I'm in a loud place, I just don't hear people. Yeah, that's that. That's fine. We're all going to be deaf. Yeah. 
But it's all overall. That's a, yeah. the amount of concerts I've gone to. I'm getting close. It's, yeah, I mean, I do again. Like, not to like a repeat a joke, but when I talk about this on stage, I do say like, there's never you know, silver line is like there's never been a better time in history to have no idea what anybody has to say. <laughs> yeah, like I can't hear. Like, I just I go all right. And have, I'm sure I'm not missing like. No. You know, You're not missing anything. Before. Poignant moments. <laughs> no, 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 no. Especially just a bunch of comics Astute, yapping. Astute, nuanced yeah. observations. <laughs> Absolutely not. Especially the story. You're not missing a big. It might be maybe something funny. One on one. I'm good. I can I can hear one. I can. Everything that's happened, I'm like, oh, I'm lucky. Like, I still have my friend who continues to deal, you know, people with MS or like growing lesions. There's people who have to deal with this. Yeah. Who don't get to get fixed, basically, Which if is, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. And like the the craziest part of what was wrong with me was like they couldn't figure it out. And then the best part was when they figured it out, it was a thing they could fix. Yeah. Which is fucking yeah. great. Jesus Christ. That's insane. I'm glad you're here. And it's you, nice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're like, yeah, I'm happy to be here, too. Holy hell. I Yeah, that was I don't even know. I have like a hive outbreak that I keep getting. I, oh, don't have them right now, but I've had them for seven weeks. And I think someone just told me, I think I know what it is. It's like a, it's brought on by stress. And the only thing I, I can go and get shots. Does this is someone have like any <clears throat> background in? Um, I've gone to two specialists now and they have no idea what it is. Oh. And they're like, we don't know. And it's like, it gets bad. Like it gets to the point where like my eyes swell shut and sometimes my throat closes. And it's like, they just, I've just been covering them for days. Mm. Like they're on stage is very embarrassing because they're like giant wells. Yeah, I so turned one time yeah. I have them, but I'm like, I'm like where are they? Hold on, I can stress, I can push them, I can stress push them out. <laughs> I like turn red from again. Like you do learn like oh bodies are so weird. Yeah, they're so weird. Like they're like I'm like I'm like oh this is happening. They're like oh yeah because nerves control the mucus. I'm like they do. <laughs> like you just everything is. Yeah. But uh, but I uh, I turn bright red from like here up, and that's like my vagus nerve. I don't know if you know vagus nerve. It's like. It's no. it's a lot of like emo whatever people people who know Vegas nerves like all these nerves they found were being cr compressed so like I don't I just turn like bright red all of a sudden and that's part of the nerve damage and you can, like, yeah my friend gets it when she gets like nervous she gets these huge red blotches yeah. all over the side of her face and they stay for like an hour yeah. two hours body to fuck sexy Some, yeah 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 very there's a lot going on in there we got so much I gotta get to my favorite question because please we're good what's the worst body thing you've ever heard. And it could be heard or, or like <clears throat> someone's told you or like something that's just kept with you over the years that just can't. It could even be what you've just gone through because this is fucking insane. Yeah. I mean, I guess that would I, I, I feel so narcissistic to be like me. <laughs> but, I mean, but, but I think it might be. Um, uh, let me think. Uh, oh, crap. OK. Um, worst body thing I oh this is disgusting yeah no it, that okay gross. <laughs> I was um uh surfing poorly uh in uh Nicar Costa Rica N Nicaragua Costa Rica I think Costa Rica and uh I mean I know they're different I just didn't know where I was yeah, yeah, so I yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. M -O. <laughs> she doesn't uh, know yeah. uh, where anything I don't is remember it was. Yeah. um and uh and the surfboard, this isn't worse than what I went through, but it is grosser somehow, went, uh, fell, you know, fell off the wave and the surf, the wave took the surfboard that's coming right at me. And it, it hit directly between, between my legs. No, no. And no, no, no I, no, 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 no. if you can imagine like you, all, all everything inside there swelling and it has to come out somewhere what do you mean i, sw I swelled no, wait. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> no no no, no. Like, keep no. Mind, i'm alone i'm in another country i you know I, I i usually take myself somewhere you know that's not too like city adjacent so i'm like Oh, oh no! I broke myself. So okay, wait, no, no. Yeah, I need yeah. explanation here. It, yeah. it hits so hard down there, like direct center, direct center. Mm -hmm. And it, what, what's in there? Swell? What? What do you mean? Like, a, like blood? Like what's going on? No, the inside swelled out of me. <laughs> how is, how has all of this happened to you? This is, is that, too, that, I think this that, is that too was much. like a random. And I called, but by the way, did I you called, tuck it back in? 
<laughs> what do you do? What do you mean? What do you? Oh, oh, this is like. Have you heard of um? What's it called? Where where your insides come out when you get older and you have to get mesh to hold it up? Have you heard of this? You're gonna need. Oh this. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna need this. You need pelvic mesh. This no, is. I, I call by. Thank. By the way. Thank God I have these one cousin. My my cousin who I called is the doctor. His wife's an OBGYN. So I is call it? her. Oh, my God. And I, I'm like, you just need one person in your family to get a medical degree. Literally. I call her. And she's like, oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> like, she just, like, I love when doctors are very casual about, about oh, it. She goes, yeah, normal. yeah, you know what happens a lot is um, um, we get seen a lot in young young women and, and even kids on their bicycle. Where they hit too hard they or something? They hit too hard. <gasps> Like the way that you, I know we've always heard like, oh, someone like cherry pops, whatever. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. no, it can happen. I said, I was like, I was like, oh no, this is real. I, I literally was like, do I have to fly home? Oh my God. Do I have to fly home if. Also, are you, if, are you wearing a wetsuit? Uh, no, I was like, oh, you know, no. Not even was, a wetsuit, so it was just shorts loose. Shorts and a, and, and, and a bikini top. Oh my Fellas. God. <laughs> yeah, if you're not hard yet, get the picture in there. Yeah. So, and the salt water is what yeah, that's what's said, upsetting me. The she salt water. said uh, it goes down. It was, I just needed somebody, again, just with anything new, you need somebody smart to go, that's normal for for these not normal circumstances. Especially down there. Yeah. And I then I just trusted her, then I felt fine. It's amazing it how back, like yeah. half the problems when something bad happens to you is fear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Being fearful and being pa in panic. Well, looking down and seeing something you've never thought of or heard of in your life. Yeah. Well, I thought it was like falling. I just thought you like, thought it was coming out. oh, I, I don't know what that. I, I did. I did, had no idea. How old are you when this happened? I was like thirty. Like it wasn't. You know. I just. But I was again. I was alone and. and well, that's yeah. You know. Uh, I, I would never surf again after that. I would never, I'd be like, that's it. I can't, I can't I, forget. No, but then you go, what are the odds that that I happens mean, again? It seems like your odds are pretty fucked up. It seems like when it comes to odds. I really was, I'd been lucky though. Until all this, I really had had like a broken toe and then a bunch of weird stuff that they couldn't figure out, but nothing, nothing awful until the most awful thing. Like, I don't even think of like, you know, my vagina coming out <laughs> as being that awful. I'll make you feel slightly better with this. Yeah, yeah. I lost, when I lost my virginity, my hymen was so thick that I bled profusely for 24 hours, like clots the size of my hand. Like I had to go, I had to rush to emergency, I had to put a towel in my underwear. I've told this story before on here, but I just wanna make you feel better that I literally, and I went and they thought something it was stuck so inside gross. me. And they were like, you just had a very thick hymen. And I was like, that's almost worse. <laughs> I'd rather be from a dildo instead of me having this, like, what, I have like a Bulgarian thick hide in there. Like what is going on in there? I have disgusting. Now I'm thinking of like your hymen with like a body positivity Instagram. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> thick, yeah, thick, yeah, where, yeah, where are my yeah. thick hymens? <laughs> Hashtag thick hymen is so gross. It's so disgusting. I can't believe, okay, so that, it went back in by mm -hmm. itself. I need to notice went back in because I feel it went like back in. that would happen to me. Okay, it went, it went back. back. It's very uh, yeah. I'm gonna be paranoid now. I've hit my vagina once really hard on a bike, and something it felt weird down there. But I think I ripped it. A I little think bit. it was a an angle that was it the, the corner. It was, was it, it was an point? angle from the Lord. Fuck. It, yeah, it was a tip. It was the, the tip. Corner, the tip, direct. Oh hit. God. Yeah, it was like a bullseye. Holy hell, legs. That's mm -hmm. that's insane. That that's that is probably. No one can relate to that. Yeah, they're, like, you're not going on TikTok and be like, "Hey, looking up women who's yeah. <laughs> came up for a surfboard corner." Fuck off! I need to wet my palate after that one. Um, you said you have a nine one one story. You've dealt with nine one one before. I've oh, it's you. not even like a good. It just okay. it was about all. It was it was uh, it's just, now now I just yeah it was it was it was it had to do with before all this and I thought it was gonna like. Uh, it's not. It's not even that ex exciting okay. of a story. <laughs> it's not even that good. A better nine one one story is that I uh, is I knocked uh, something over in my house when I didn't realize like oh the, like being half deaf is like I can't I got to take a lot of my f calls on my speakerphone yeah because if I have it to my ear I can't hear anything I didn't hear something fall and I had my first fire oh god at my house in your house yeah and I'm like recently post brain surgery and. Uh, and the, it was my first fire. I didn't hear it, anything fall. I didn't hear the fire, so I didn't even know it was happening. And it's crickle, crackle, but I'm on oh the phone. Oh my God. And I look out and I'm like, oh, there's a fucking fire. And uh, Inside and, the house? Uh, on my deck. Oh my God. So I had my first, like, you know, bunch of firefighters. That uh, hot though? Showing up. Any of them? They were hot, but I also, I had spent a year really being extra COVID safe. Oh, fuck. So they I mean, all show up, no mass, like 12 people. Yeah. This was, again, this was really like, like peak I'm COVID. Sick. I'm 
Yeah, I, I'm not just saying, but my doctor, when I go to my, because you, when you have brain surgery, a lot of my people in the waiting room have cancer. Yeah. So I tried to be extra, extra safe because I knew I was going to be around people who were in treatment. Yeah. So like, I was just like, you got to be kidding. It's fucking <laughs> fire. <laughs> it's like the fire would burn away anything, though. I, I mean, think when, when you're looking at like a basically a bonfire on your deck and you... <laughs> And you don't have your balance back entirely, and what you just, just do? yeah, you half deaf. You, the deaf ears ring in. Your dog is right. You're just like Was the oh, dog in is, there. Oh yeah, I ran. Oh. I had like I have ring video. Uh, I, I'm not ring. Uh, uh, Nest uh, camera footage of me like running out and grabbing my dog. Oh my god! But it's just you just go. Oh, this is. It, it never ends with you. It most. It's, I think it's end. I think not that seems way. like three big ones. Yeah. Vagina fire. <laughs> Ear. Did I have a nerve damage? Brain, brain, brain. surgery, yeah. uh, outer <laughs> vagina. <laughs> an Audi. People ask you, you had an Audi. You, you had an Audi. I had an Audi. Big but I'm Audi. like good. I'm good. Like that's like. All back in. God if ever there's a, 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 a anything to say at the end of this story, which is a very incomplete story, but it's like I, the last thing I want is people thinking like, oh my God, like I'm like fully a miracle story it's yeah no i don't crazy. think anyone said was listening to this going no but they're I mean, all going like, holy fuck. no but i mean like even like whatever pity any of the, it's like it, it is like i'm like i i really feel like the luckiest person I mean, i'm still like, clinically depressed but yeah. i do feel like the <laughs> luckiest person i mean i feel like you 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 luckily just got a, a disease that people could figure out what the fuck it was but i'm like you still went well through a yeah hell i, I, I think lot. that the i, I i've said this before, but I, I think that the the best thing about it was how rare it was and how people couldn't fix it because then like kind of bigger and bigger doctors were like, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Like it was like, you know, yeah, it was like people, me like with popular. men in my twenties yeah, yeah. were like, <laughs> let me, let me try to fix it. You know? And so they got invested in this rare thing. Shit. And uh, are you like, uh, do they use you as an example now for like medical books? Cause you were like, I don't know. I did hear like, Oh, you know, they watched your surgery at some other like lot, whatever. And then they, they, um, you should yeah, get the footage of that. Put that on your Instagram. I text you need real. <laughs> with, like, my, 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 my uh, brain surgeon, my neurosurgeon is a chair of neurosurgery at the hospital. And when I woke up in the ICU, all the nurses were like, you text with him? I'm like, yeah, we, like, oh. we text. Or, I've never, <laughs> but he just would send me pictures of the inside of, like, here's the compression and here's, and then I, it's kind of, a, it, he's really wonderful because I could text him a week, a month, you know, six months later and go, this is happening and he would ex and i get because i get so scared it was coming back yeah, and he yeah, would yeah. explain nerve regenerate he would explain things to me yeah but not everybody i think has the privilege of texting with their neurosurgeon and hearing back immediately and that was like the gift That's of great. having a weird rare thing wow this is insane thank yeah. you so much for sharing you're all this. welcome this is, this is great this is such a uh, I, learning I've learned so much um, where can people find you I made it all up by the yeah. way <laughs> can you imagine you're like hit subscribe <laughs> this was on the final episode of yeah, Modern yeah, Family yeah. you guys didn't notice um, where can everybody find you uh, at my house with my dog yeah. <laughs> watching women's basketball and yeah. um uh, I, I'm on t I'm on uh, Twitter. I put my you know I put tour dates on Instagram. Great, great, great. great. Follow yeah. on Instagram, follow on Twitter. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks and, for um, having me. Oh my God! I'll see you at the store. I'll see you at the store. Oh, guys, follow the damn YouTube. My YouTube. Follow the Instagram. If you have stories of your own, please send them in. Steph Infection Podcast at gmail.com. We'll get to them at some point. Um, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.